Let's pick the first one, Cyclone. Let's see what that one is. Okay, interesting. So I think I don't like this one, but I gotta say on full preview it's better, better than I thought. In general, I think that the deal breaker for this one are the colors, although the composition is pretty interesting. I wonder what uh, this has been done with, if it's like Inkscape or something. Uh, it's interesting the layering many shapes on top of each other, but I think that uh, with the colors that has been chosen, some very grayish and blackish colors. I don't. I think it doesn't work really well. So let's go to the next one, which is Into the Void, and this one is from the same person, and I think it has a very similar flow. Uh, potentially interesting composition, but the colors are very weird, and in this part you can see many lines stretched to be one pixel, which is very weird. However, the very background with this, let's see if I can zoom it in, no I cannot. This um, background lines, I really like this. So maybe just these lines would have been a good wallpaper, but with these colors and those very small lines, I'm not sold on this concept. Next one, Lonely Island. And this one is very interesting. This looks like it's made with Blender. And well, it is a lonely island. The issue here, which is actually a mistake, I think, that I've also made when I did my own wallpapers from uh, the 5.16 competition, is like, uh, is that those triangles, when you put them next to each other, and you often see that they have different heights. It doesn't look really well if you don't convey well the, um, let's open the image in a new tab, the concept of changing the height. As an example, you get stuff like here. Let's, let me, in here, you have this very small spike going out of the highland. Here you have another one, you can see them uh, throughout uh, the wallpaper. I think that those don't work really well. But except for that, one thing that I absolutely love of this wallpaper is that everything that's underwater is blurred. And uh, as you know, I love blur. It's a good wallpaper, I like it. And yeah, I only think that the issue, like the only issue I can see is the change in height not being very well represented uh, in the composition. Next one is sundown. I'm trying to go uh, a bit fast so it doesn't become one hour long video. And this one is a picture, a well-made picture, we gotta say that. However, I don't think it works well as a wallpaper, maybe, because uh, well, first of all, I'm not into pictures as wallpapers, uh, but that's me. And I think this one might be a bit distracting with a very bright color at the center. I don't know, I can see easily people putting high cons here and not being able to read um, the labels. That might happen. We often ask for a uh, less um, busy version of the wallpapers if we are not able to read the labels. This one is Hallum, Hulla, sorry, and it's again a very interesting concept with uh, very small spheres. Maybe it doesn't work well as a whole because it kind of feels wrong to me, but the concept is really good. Maybe with uh, either bigger uh, spheres or this part here it seems like the spheres become very small I don't know I, I, I like it I think it's a good idea it doesn't uh, work 100% to my eyes but I'm not sure why maybe you can comment a bit on that X area and this one is actually one of my favorite because I think it does colors really well 
you can see a very nice gradient from two very nice colors, blue and aquamarine, I think it's called in English as well. And the shadows that blend with the darker colors of the hexagons uh, underneath, really well done. I really like this wallpaper, I easily see myself using it. Actually, let me download it right away because I will use it. You will see it in my coming videos. So big plus one to XRF from me. And of course the wallpaper uh, winner has been chosen already. So with this video, I'm not trying to influence anyone. I choose to wait until it was uh, announced. So I was not influencing anyone. Interesting concept is called core. I think that's how you pronounce it. If we, if you allow me to zoom in a bit and mm, I think that there are some very interesting parts to this wallpaper. First of all, the objects at the center are well done. You can see a bit of a glitch. Again, I think this is Blender, clearly. A bit of a glitch here, but it's very nice that you have these glass objects uh, that you can see through and this uh, glue glassy objects, I like them. What I think doesn't work really well is the background, which is, uh, I don't know what this color is called, kind of a dark blue with a bit of green, I guess. Uh, it's a bit weird if it was like, I don't know, space with stars that would maybe work a bit better. And this white-ish ring, uh, you can't really understand what material is supposed to be. So. Uh, maybe that's not as good and maybe in those parts you can um, like in this light here you can understand a bit too much that this is a render. Overall it's a nice idea that maybe is not implemented uh, at best. This is by Aaron by the way which is also the winner of the wallpaper competition. This is late, interesting. Uh, I can see that it's a picture again, so sorry if I'm uh, being biased here, but uh, well, while it loads, let's also pick the next one, which is Sparrow. So this one is about waste. And I've seen some people saying, maybe we should pick this wallpaper to show that we are interested in climate change. It's not actually waste, uh, is it? just rocks or is it also waste? I sh actually, it sh it's just rocks. I thought this was a representation of waste the first time I saw it. So I saw it incorrectly. And uh, again, I think that uh, it doesn't really work as a wallpaper, although it's a very nice picture. That's my personal opinion of it. Then you have Spiral, let's see it. And meanwhile, let's also pick out of the blue. So spiral is loading. Okay, interesting. So we've got a very flat but uh, interesting composition. Colors are maybe a bit too dark for this kind of wallpaper. And uh, maybe I don't understand the concept of having a one pixel, two pixel line at the middle. I don't quite quite get what's supposed to represent. But I think it would work very well as a wallpaper without that line. I think this is a good submission. I like it, I just don't get the line. Then out of the blue, again gold drive, and we also pick the next next one which is zero. Okay. Okay, same artist as before. And again, an interesting gold paper that would uh, probably work as a wallpaper for some minimalistic desktop, but maybe it's a bit too minimalistic. I don't know, but I like it. I think it's a good submission. I haven't seen it posted a lot uh, around, but I would uh, consider using it if I was into minimalistic desktops. Uh, I've seen that some people are. I personally like 3D renders. That's me. Okay, so this zero 
is interesting. We again have a middle black line that's a bit weird. I'm beginning to think that it's a bug, but the idea of this wallpaper is this uh, right line. Uh, it looks a bit like a drawer from Portal or something. It's interesting. I like it. I don't know how well it works as a wallpaper, but it's non-intrusive enough to be one. So good submission. I'm not sold 100% on it, but uh, I think it is a good idea. Then we have EXO. Interesting, but I know I always say interesting, but, but uh, that's, I think, uh, the best way to give a bit to uh, of uh, criticism that high hope is constructive as well i always try to take the good and bad parts i like the hexagons i think they make up for a good uh, wallpaper as last time as well in this case i'm not sold on the use of shadow on the uh, top left and bottom right because uh, the blue one going to a dark blue that does not convince me where these uh, gray ones just fade into being nothing and that feels a bit wrong to me and this center part is a bit empty but uh, I think that if we added another layer of hexagons in the center maybe of another color uh, as a wallpaper that one would work then we've got Sun Plasma Flares, which I actually remember about. And it's this one, you can see the preview. Let's open up the Google Drive well. Okay, this one is one of the few that I don't fully like. Like, uh, I, I'm i sorry, but uh, I, I don't quite like this one. Uh, mostly because although I think the drawings on top representing the flares going out are really pretty the sun itself is way way too buzzy these weird hexagons with this very renderish texture plus this uh, noise i don't think that it would work as a wallpaper uh, if you put some text on top of noise it won't be readable and the again if you just took the right part with the flares and the uh, uh, night sky it would be much better i'm really not sold from the sun and i think that the sun easily ruins much of the wallpaper oh and then we've got blue ocean blue ocean well i've seen many people loving it i've seen many people hating it me i think that it's a very, very good render. If you look at it, you get nice realistic uh, water with all the animals. You get the sand inside of it. There are many good details. I love this dolphin and this star, but I'm not sold on this as a wallpaper, but I really like the concept, I like the plasma logo, which is here it's really nice and i would use it as a poster like if this was a poster i would buy it but as a wallpaper i don't know like i know that many people would use it and i think that's good me personally probably not but as a poster i mean we've got another triangle swan and let's look more closer to it with my very slow internet we can see that we have some grayish uh, blender ish i guess this is blender or similar i think that the concept is interesting but this feels way too much uh, as a render if we zoom in which again i cannot do this top part with the triangles being of a random color, it doesn't work really well. If I had to make just one suggestion, it would be use more noise because 
not too much like the previous uh, wallpaper, but a bit of noise can make things much more realistic. I remember I also made that all the triangles of random colors and they didn't work really well, but when I tried adding noise, it worked much better. So that would be my go-to suggestion for um, this artist. So as I was saying, and then we have an ancient blocks, I think it's pronounced. And I do really like this one. I think it's very well made and it addresses most of my criticisms on, of the earlier wallpapers. It does not feel uh, like it's a complete render. It's well done. It has a good composition. I really like the idea of having, having one central element and then the white blocks around it. You can also see some cool details like this mountain on the top right, bottom right. I like it. I think it's a good wallpaper. It's not exactly my kind of wallpaper, but I would use this one, yes. So plus one to this one, I really like it. Next one is called Heart and I know this one really well. I even replied to this person. So let's pick this one and also this one. We've got two versions of Heart, which I will call New Heart and Hold Heart. This is the new one and I think it's a good wallpaper, but I preferred the old one, which is Heart Less and is this one. So the composition here is uh, good, uh, maybe slightly confusing. Um, you don't fully understand where the shapes are, but I like it. And maybe the only suggestion that I would have here is to try to make all of the glass part to be, all, be a bit um, frosted, so it's a bit blurred behind them. And this is the old one, which I much preferred. It represents an heart with all of the arteries coming out of it. Uh, it's probably not anatomically correct, but I like it. It makes for a good wallpaper. So plus one to the old heart. Then we have cobweb and we are back to the concept of having dots, which is a good one, except this time we don't actually get to see them. It's nice with this per perspective, so they all go to the center. Maybe it feels like it lacks some element to give focus on. If you notice, all of the elements in this wallpaper are out of focus. Um, so you can uh, see none clearly, they're all a bit blurred. It's of course um, by design, but I think that if you blur your entire wallpaper, you're at the end a bit lacking the some con some object to get to actually give focus on focus on something that the user would actually look at. Then we have square and I think I really love this one. I used this as a wallpaper already. If you go see my last video cover art, it has this wallpaper inside of it because I think my personal opinion that this is the prettiest out of the competition. Many of you probably won't agree, but I think that it's really well done. Maybe the position of the squares could improved, uh, could be improved a bit. You can see that oftentimes you get many squares on top of each other with only a small difference in position. That is not optimal. Maybe again, the position could be uh, done in some other way, but it's a really good wallpaper and I would and I did use it. Then we get Dunes, which Incidentally, it's also very similar to the name of the book I'm currently reading. Uh, you probably know it. It's a good wallpaper. It reminds me a lot of the Microsoft one that uh, was announced, uh, I think, one or two years ago. Um, it's pretty. Maybe it feels a bit too much like a render in this left and right parts, but I could see myself using this as a wallpaper uh, maybe adding a bit of noise to the sand. 
Florence. I've seen actually some developers really liking this one. I think that it's really interesting and as a concept it really reminds me of the Big Sur wallpaper because uh, I often see these wallpapers that are completely based on gradients and for this kind of wallpapers the make it or kill it thing for me is how good they are able to use the gradients. In this wallpaper we've got some very good ones as an example the top left part we've got a very nice gradient from this bluish to this reddish and then this purplish but on the bottom right we get those grayish colors that are really out of place so my suggestion here would be to improve the gradients of the bottom right part otherwise it would be a good wallpaper maybe it's a bit too abstract for me but uh, for other people I think it would uh, perfectly suit them then we've got Serenity and it's clearly a good name for this wallpaper I really like it it's one of my favorites we've got this uh, tree on the top right that is really in strong contrast with the rest of the room we've got a good water if I had to pick some things I didn't like, uh, just to give some feedback out of it, I think that this light coming from upstairs is a bit too bright, it's maybe a bit distract distracting in the composition. This door, uh, the first time I saw this, uh, seemed to me like a peel, uh, because I did not notice that this bottom part was a reflection, uh, maybe the reflection should be turned down a bit and this object feels a bit rendered maybe i would use a different texture for it but overall i really like this one one of my favorite processor i think is actually a good wallpaper i've seen some people not liking it but uh, personally i do like it i think it's well done it's uh, very buzzy and uh, that's probably the main reason why it was not uh, going to be fit for uh, plasma but I easily see myself actually using it from some other machine maybe for a tablet I think it will it would work really well so maybe I'm the only one who likes this one but I do like it then we have got fusion 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 and we are back at having colors being an issue in wallpapers because uh, this dominant purple doesn't really fit and it's very buzzy as well as a whole it also feels a bit rendered i think those are the main flows i really really like the idea of putting very uh, many colored lights there's a red one here blue one green one uh, yellow one i think it's a good idea also i guess this is a purple light and there are some parts that are um, glitchy you can see that all here where i have this cursor here as well there are some glitches so that would probably be the first thing to look uh, at to fix so now we get three wallpapers by the same person called plasma 1 plasma 2 plasma 2 and plasma 3 this one is plasma 1 and i like the idea this idea of taking this galaxy with two very bright colors here and here and then overlaying some uh, transparent to some degree gray uh, pattern i like it i think it's a good idea maybe uh, this didn't work fully as a wallpaper rather than a picture but i would probably use it for some kind of maybe dual screen display having the blue line on uh, sorry the blue light on the left and the right one the red one on the right then there's this one i really like this one um, the background of this one because you can see that there's a bit of motion blur which is very well done and all of the cables at the center are colored uh, and uh, i think that the composition as a whole doesn't quite work for this one but it's a cool concept and the more i look into it the prettier it gets so let's stop this one is probably the less um, uh, I think uh, the less prettier of the three I don't 
quite understand what it wants to achieve. It looks a bit too blurry and very rendered and this center part is just too confused to be a wallpaper in my opinion. Here we have got plasma. Again interesting idea but it's not clear what it should convey because here at the center most of the wallpaper is black and at the center it's actually very bright and then we've got this triangles pattern at the center. A bit confusing. We also this uh, area, greenish area that propagates into the nothing. Uh, yeah, I would try to make those who look at it more able to understand what's going on in this wallpaper. This just looking at it makes me a bit confused. And then next one, Pulsar and I accidentally picked the mobile version of it but if we go back we can see the preview of um, the desktop one. I think that it's a good wallpaper and and again colors I think could be improved especially if we give a look to this gradient here which uh, seems to disappear into the another thing it doesn't even look like a shadow this part here I think is the biggest issue in general I'm not sold by the colors it's a good wallpaper I think it's by the same person that did um, Florence no it isn't sorry never mind okay this one is vision this one I think works much better with the colors and it's very abstract maybe uh, it's a bit too abstract for me but that's because i don't personally like those kind of wallpapers and i've also seen heliosphere which is i think less abstract and i like it more again well used colors the only confused um, area for this one i think is this bottom part uh, which is loading this one where the red uh, goes into gray into blue i don't quite get it and but except for that those are two i think very good wallpapers i would probably not use them myself but yeah hexagons i actually like this one it's uh weird that it's only white and black but i think it works really well let me get this out of here i like it, it Maybe also I'm not sold by those lines that we see between um, the height of each hexagon but I would 100% use this as a wallpaper. Maybe I just into hexagons, I don't know, I just like all of the hexagon wallpaper that are thrown at me. Then there's liquid class which I think is one of the best wallpapers and uh, there's not much bad to say about it and there's much good i really like the colors and the gradients between them and uh, often it seems like some parts are being blurred behind almost completely opaque objects which is nice maybe i'm not sold on these parts here and here when where you can see that the lines are really stretched together by a perspective. I don't think those are really clear to the person that's looking at it. Then there's dark glow, which I think is a bit rougher, uh, more rough compared to the other ones, but it has potential. We can see the rendering um, is not perfect. We can see all of the lines but I think that with some work it would be a promising wallpaper. I think it's a good concept. It's not a good realization of the concept, but it's a good concept nonetheless. Then we have Forest. I think that Forest uh, tries to have some very low poly look, but it kind of fails, I think. It feels like it's a bit too low poly. If we look at where um, the things intersect uh, to each other, as an example here in this part of the tree, I think it doesn't work really well and you can very easily see that all of the trees are just copy pasted and they all feel the same. So it's interesting but uh, it's sur surely a different concept 
compared to the other ones, which is good, but I don't think that it's uh, well implemented. And then, of course, we have Patak, which we can actually see here because I'm using it as a wallpaper right now. And it is a good wallpaper now. I gotta admit that the first time I saw it, it was an earlier version from it. We asked, we as the judges asked for some versions and at the beginning it was a bit too rough. There were many rendering issues with lines disappearing, some black uh, parts and some uh, colors uh, that were not used correctly. But now that it uses a nice blue, the triangles hovering into this sea are well done. The only issue I have with this wallpaper is that the stream uses this pattern of uh, shapes that I don't fully agree with. Maybe I would have used another uh, shape like hexagons, uh, 